Hello everyone. Welcome to KSR Data Vision. My name is SI Babu. Today I am going to explore about Power BI monthly updates. So this is the website URL. If you go through this, you will get the Power BI monthly updates plug. In this, if you see this month, we have a lot of excited updates. So let's jump into the topic. So here, if you see they are providing fabric data engineer certification is generally available. So those who are interested to take data engineering certification, I recommend you take this exam. So the latest version of Power BI desktop is this one. So make sure you have to your Power BI desktop has to update to this version. So this is the data published in this version. So now uh, let's jump into the highlights. So this is the contents in this contents. They are uh, mentioned copilot and AI, then reporting, then followed by modeling, data connectivity and visualizations. So today I'm going to talk about three major topics. So let's explore about Copilot and AI. So what is Copilot? Nowadays, everyone is hearing Copilot, ChatGPT, Gemini AI. So Copilot is nothing but a, it's a Microsoft inbuilt AI tool. It will uh, help you to fast your work and uh, increase the more productivity. So let's practicals. So first of all, actually you have to create a one workspace. So in that workspace, please make sure you have to check that the workspace having the fabric capacity license. So for that, you have to go to license info. Then you have to check so the current license is fabric capacity. So make sure that before using your copilot services, you have to select as a fabric capacity as a current license. So now if I go to Power BI services, so there is a empty Power BI space is there in this. So let's expand visualization data. Say I have a three data sets, bike data, car data, and investment banking. So now I want to build some visuals by using copilots. For this, what you have to do, you have to click on copilot. So once I click on the copilot, then it will enable the uh, copilot pane. In this, see, just you can click on a suggest content for a new report page. So what it will say, so it will read all the three tables and you see, it will give the what is the suggested visualization. So let's say I want to uh, bike sales by region. So I'll click on create. So now it's working. It will take one minute or two minutes. Let's see how it will generate the visuals. So what uh, what happened, you know, if you try to make a habit using Copilot, it will faster the process and whatever the work you will do within one day, that work you will complete it finish it by two to three hours so it is generating it uh, let's uh, wait see in front of you fraction of seconds it generates the sum of the order quantity sum of the unit price average list price and orders quantity by region sales by region average list price region see everything cards given line chart and uh, this area chart so i want to say something let's say i want to see as a car sale analysis let's say i'll create now it will create a car sale analysis page so it will take one or two minutes time. It's a depend upon the data size. See like this, you have to build your Power BI reports in easily and very faster way. See here, if you see uh, sum of selling price and average present price, sum of kilometers driven. And see here, if you see, it is giving slicers also. If you want, you can filter by using slicers. And if you want, you can use by using this one. Then this invest bank banking, so let's say, I create a page to analyze the performance of invest banking brokers so i'll click on create i think it will take uh, two minutes of time because this uh, data set is a large uh, data set just this is how you have to use your copilot in services as well as in power bi desktop also but make sure you have to have that fabric capacity uh, license so it's uh, loading just uh, it's working on it see almost it is created two cards what is the firm sales what is the global sales and what is the broker types this is how you have to use copilot in the power bi services and as well as in uh, power bi desktop also next uh, let's jump into the another time. and there is a one more feature called in this month updates we have a explore this data explore this data so let's say this is my tata new sales report so let's say here it is uh, giving sales by month and region so you have to click on this ellipsis then just explore this data preview so once if you click say it is giving this as a if you click on drop down see whatever we are seeing in the area chart that here we are seeing in the matrix so if you want to add any other uh, visuals you can add it here if you want to save this visual as a matrix visual you can save here so this is how you have to use explore uh, options 
in the visual so i am i don't save here click on don't save this is one thing so if you want to uh, explore the waterfall data also just click on explore the waterfall data just click on this drop down see it is giving also year wise and uh, region wise uh, sales next one i am going to talk about is text slicer still it is in preview mode it's already launched in the uh, december month update but uh, they are enhanced with some updates so let's go to the practicals so here if you see there is a table called player how many six they scored how many fours they scored how many runs they scored and the, it is a, uh, this is a slicer text uh, slicer in this already i dragged the country now i want to filter the two countries so if suppose i want to see only india players just i'll type india and i'll click this one so it filtered only india so let's say if i want england and india then i'll england then again i'll type DIA india then see if you see england players and indian players are filtered so for enable this multiple selected values option just you have to go to formatting settings in the slicer setting there is an option called accept multiple values you have to turn on this if you don't turn on this this will uh, not work so please keep in mind that this is one thing about i want to talk about then again if i will go to uh, there is a enhancement in the tree map visual so let's explore what is the enhancement in the trip map visual so let's go to another new page i take uh, this tree map visual so in this art i'll do i'll take country and i'll take total runs scored so this is the total runs scored by country so whatever this here there is a randomly the boxes are placed so in this let's say i go to uh, formatting options in the formatting options there is a option called layout in the option we have currently whatever the format we are seeing this is squarified so if i want to see binary type see it will give as a some kind of uh, binary type so if i want to see as a alternating columns and rows see it will show as a columns so based on your business requirement and based on your uh, client requirement you can use this tree map chart also so then let's jump into the other updates so like this you can go through this power bi updates uh, monthly blog you can see this uh, all updates we will provide uh, this uh, link in the youtube link description so here there is a, a videos also provided by microsoft you can walk through this and there is a, some new charts are drilled down scatter pro chart and uh, there is a one more new chart called uh, lollipop chart by powerways so you can explore this so thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe ksr data vision we'll meet you in the next video thank you all